All right, so uh, I had a couple questions of people asking me to go in a little more detail with my GoPad as to how I built it. So I'll show you here. Let me flip it over so you can see a little better. Okay. I'm modifying my exhaust a little bit, so that's why it's not on. Anyway. So, as you can see here, this part is just a regular old Razor scooter. And then, here's the Razor scooter on the outside part, right here there. And then in between the two pieces of square tubing, then I weld it together with little pieces of plate. Anyway, as you can see, I bolted the square tubing, the square tubing steel and the scooter's aluminum, to the, um... I bolted the two pieces of square tubing here that run all the way down into the scooter. And then these come down here. These are supports. Give it extra support. But this comes down into a T right here. You can see where the T goes across, which welds into my main forks. Alright. And then it goes back up. And there's another T that rests on top of this. I'll flip it over so you can see that better. Let's see how that is so you can see it's, these are the main forks to go down that's welded on there support but as you can see it's also at an angle right there because this is flat and that's angled quite a bit and the reason that is is if you made it just straight out of the back it would sag in the back because the front forks up here are just welded straight on and they go straight down. And as you can see, the uh, they're pretty level as far as parallel to that. If you were their invisible line across there, that's what you want to look to make those two parallel. And so yeah, and I mounted a pulley here on the wheel, and it goes down to my engine here. There's the other pulley. The engine's mounted right here on the back part of the forks. And it goes down there, so flip it over, give you another angle. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only that's the that's this little plate here. This piece of angle iron slides on there basically it and then I got this little fender that goes back a little piece of aluminum holds my gas tank back there see it's like a little wheel well kind of thing that protects the uh so it goes back there kind of protects everything that shoots off the wheel up from my carburetor my gas tank in the back of my engine and all that so yeah. so basically Used to be one of these scooters like this. Yeah, well, that's stuff. But anyway, one of those little razor scooters. I'm sure everyone knows what those look like. And I got the wood deck drilled into the top, just straight on top of the razor scooter. Some soft toppers. Throttle cables up there and everything. So, the thing is with this particular scooter. The bottom of the fork here is steel, and the rest of it's aluminum. I don't know why that is. Steel, I don't know. Probably, probably has to be stronger. So, I was able to weld that part right there, the two steel pieces. But you know, you can't weld aluminum to steel. So, so yeah, I just filled in the gap up front, welded on the sides, welded down here. So, this is two pieces of flat bar that are bent and then cut in the middle right there and then welded together down the center and on both sides here and all that so that's a little more in depth for you if you got any more questions just let me know yeah there you go sorry I forgot your name or your channel but anyway
There you go.